folks, Real Martian here. So I had a recommendation to use one of these little squeegee thingabobbers uh, for the clearing of the solar panels. As you can see, we have quite a bit of snow. I bought, I had already this extension unit on it uh, for something else. So a lot harder unit, a lot stronger, a lot stiffer. There we go. Put that out there. Tighten this. We're gonna see if this will work. Now, this was recommended by a subscriber. Kindly enough to send me the Amazon link. So, see how we do. There we go. Not, not totally excited about it. That's a lot of snow. That's a whole lot of snow. Now, I do like it because it's not a, not scratchy. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of snow. Let's see. If we just didn't get like two feet of snow in 24 hours, I think this thing might work. It's gonna take me a long time to clean this thing off though, so I'll spare you that. I don't know if I'm sold on this. I do like it because it's spongy. Uh, it's not gonna hurt the solar panels, but it's really small. And when that snow is thick like that, it just takes a while. Now, we've talked a lot about the solar panels and uh, their orientation. It definitely seems like it's shallow. I think one subscriber said it best. Uh, this is a, a grid tied system. What that means is we are connected to the grid still and the, we don't have any batteries. Essentially the grid is our battery. So during the summer, this is actually optimal for summertime power collection. Uh, but it's not, obviously, we couldn't afford to pay for actuation and all that type of stuff. Now there's a lot of good ideas on how we could hinge the back and have it raise up and all that. I think maybe next uh, next summer, uh, or this summer, maybe we'll look at that. But I don't know. That's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, anyway, the point is, during the summer, we essentially charge our battery for winter. So we didn't have a full summer uh, with this system because we got it in in late August, but uh, this uh, 2017, we should have lots of power in our battery uh, in the grid. So. Someday I'd like to replace that grid with Tesla batteries, but there's just no way that you can store as much as what we're going to be getting. So, oh, a lot to think about there. Anyway, I wanted to show you this, see if it worked or not. Uh, verdict's out, or jury's out still. I don't know, I'm going to play with it some more. We'll let you know. Hey, this is Real Martian. Take care.